From our Georgia Capital Newsroom, the state has nearly 48,000 monkeypox vaccine doses and is reporting 1,033 cases so far. The CDC says Georgia ranks in the top five for highest number of monkeypox cases in the country, just behind Texas, Florida, California, and New York. WSAV's Archis Ashadri breaks down what the state health department is doing to mitigate risk. Georgia's Department of Health says monkeypox spreads from skin to skin contact, including kissing, cuddling, and can be contracted by sharing clothing or bedding. If somebody does get exposed to it because it's transmitted through usually close skin to skin uh, contact, it's something that if people have that type of exposure, they potentially could become infected with monkeypox. While there's not a vaccine shortage in Georgia, the Department of Health has requested additional doses and says nearly three out of four cases of monkeypox in Georgia are African Americans. And most people who get it are gay or bisexual men who've been sexually active. Because of the nature of how it's transmitted, it really is going to be spreading within certain social networks. The health department says monkeypox can cause a rash, bumps, or sores in the genital areas, hands, feet, chest, face, or mouth. The CDC says symptoms are similar to the flu, like a fever, headache, muscle ache, chills, a sore throat, a cough, or swollen lymph nodes. The classic presentation is the rash and the fever following later, the classic rash of these large pox lesions. It's important to note that monkeypox can still um, affect any, any individual who potentially does get exposed to it. We are trying to offer the, the limited supply of vaccination that we have right now in all health departments in Georgia. While some people have been hospitalized because of pain issues from sores, the Department of Health says there are no monkeypox related deaths in Georgia. Archit Sashadri, WSAV News 3 on your side.